Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and today we're going to paint this interesting lady. She's like an angel, and uh, believe it or not, this is an old master's. This is one of our old dead guys in 1897. I'll tell you a little bit about him at the end, because this is actually just part of the original painting. We're keeping it short, 8 by 10, but um, because it just makes it a little easier to film. And, the, and I will show you the, the whole thing at the end show you what the whole painting would have looked like. It's just a little bit longer. It's like this is 8 by 10, so it would probably be about 20 by 10 would be the whole thing if you continued on with the design. But I think this is really pretty. And I uh, hope you enjoy painting this. This is a really um, a lots of different things we're going to be using. We're going to be using like a like either you have a Sharpie, a black Sharpie, and a white one, or these, I like these Posca pens for this. And I did that for her mouth too. And, of course, we'll have a traceable on our website if you want to trace this in. That's fine. Um, I'll also show you how to freehand it. This is pretty easy. Where the colors we're using, you can see my hands are still kind of dirty, are um, alizarin crimson or magenta, either one of those, purple, um, cad yellow medium, white, um, raw umber, phthalo blue, and ultramarine blue. Those are our main colors for this. And of course, you're, and black for the hair. We did black for the hair, and we did a black pen too. So this is called Fairyland. But for me, she's just, um, you know, she's, she, for me, she's an artist angel. You know, it's a really pretty. She looks like I guess she could be a fairy, but for me, she looks like an angel. So hope you guys enjoyed painting her. Um, you're watching this as a recorded lesson because uh, John and I had to be out of town, or maybe our internet isn't up, or something else has happened for us to put up a live, instead of doing a live lesson. Uh, please share these, subscribe um, to our channel. We really appreciate it. That We try to give you a variety of things to do, and encourage you, if you want personal art coaching, remember, we've got the best acrylic school on the planet. I, my personal opinion comes with personal art coaching, reasonable price. We give Canadian and Australian discounts and, and senior discounts. And we make it very affordable to be able to learn to paint the masters and all kinds of things. Whether you're a beginner, never painted before, or whether you're a master acrylic painter, you can learn a lot on our website and from these videos. So, hope you enjoy painting Fairyland, originally done in 1897. I guess I'll tell you the name of the, of the artist, because uh, I always do my entries last. His name was uh, Macintosh, Charles Rene Macintosh. 1897. This is called Fairyland. Okay, so I've got an 8 by 10 canvas, and what I want to do is just lightly sand it. Alright. Now, we're going to just... Uh, I've got a little leftover paint here I'm going to use. I want a little bit of purple and blue in a large brush. And uh, I'm going to put a little water on it. Got a little purple, a little bit of ultramarine blue, just like that. And just a little water on my brush. I'm just going to come under here and just sort of, uh, just really less than paint the canvas, sort of stain it. So it's got water. Tap off the brush, a little bit of purple, a little ultramarine blue, like that. There we go. I want all the brush strokes to be up and down. A little bit more color up here at the top. A little bit more blue, ultramarine blue. A little bit more of this, these colors. Now I'm going to put a little more water with this. I'm going to show you a little trick. Take a little rag. Now I'm going to just turn this this way, I think, sideways. 8 by 10 canvas. Alright, so I'm going to say this is my first layer of paint here. It looks kind of watercolory, okay? Kind of kind of loose and watercolory. And then you start here and you lift up. If you start in the middle, you get a mark like that. Start here and lift up. Just lift your brush up like that. Don't go back. Just keep it going up and down, alright? Now, you with me? Now, all right, so this is what we want here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of mixing white. Put a little of that on the brush and come up this way with it. 
and just lift up just a little bit of mixing white maybe even titanium I think I could get by with some titanium actually not even mixing white let's try titanium yeah let's just come and lift up like this get some streaks going like that see so come and lift up come and lift up lift up a little bit of white whoop lift up all right you ready for that now we're going to just stop and dry everything that's the secret we're going to dry it all all right okay so i think we have dried all of that so i'm going to take a little um i'm going to just take a little new pastel pencil um, well it's actually a contact white white piece of chalk and I'm going to say that um, I'm going to say that the top of my girl's head is right here and there's an and it's this shape here this is the shape here like that this is the shape of her head and I have hair here hair here it's coming here and hair that's kind of coming down here like this this is all stylized art and her shoulders are going to come and then everything is going to come down and her shoulders are going to come here and down and just around like this and we're going to say that um, here's her neck right here and then here's a um, straight line here like this a straight down straight down here like this sort of a decoration straight down here with the decoration if you need to trace this on that's okay we'll have it traceable on our website um, all right so I'm going to say that that's that's our girl there okay now this is what we're painting so now we're going to do something kind of fun you're going to say wasn't it fun before well it kind of was but we're going to take a black Posca pen, Posca pen, okay, and I'm going to shake it. I'm going to get all this out of the way. I'm just going to shake this pen up. I have a little piece of paper to put it on. You want to use a sharpie if you have to, all right? So now I'm going to come out of here like this. Now that I've decided how I want my face like this here's her neck it's going to curve this way down we're going to come around the collar like this now I want to come across I want to come up here like this and do some large flowers. And come up here and do some sort of large, large flower thing here. Okay, I'm going to start drawing in these flowers here. Well, some of these you're not, you're barely going to see, but we're just going to put them in here, kind of freestyle them in. Okay, this is just a straight line coming down here. And there's flowers all up in here like this. Okay. 
Okay? Very stylized picture. We're going to start doing some little flowers here with our pen. I want to come across this part like this. And then come up like that. All right, very just some little stylized designs here. So there's her neck coming this way. And uh, let's see, her hair's coming down like this. And we've got more hair coming this way. It's coming off her head like that. All right, so that's our girl. And then let's see, we want some leaves coming along here like this. Different. If you want to put a butterfly here, you could. We're just going to have some different, um, different flower designs. Don't worry about making them exactly like me. I don't think that's the point of this. Okay. Just come on like that. Someone's going to ask if you could use a Sharpie. As long as it's waterproof, I think you could. You could use a Sharpie. All right, now for her eye, for her nose and her eyes, I want to come, to see her mouth is right here. Little bow of a mouth. I'm going to come down here with her nose. And then back here like this. We're going to say she's got here's her eyes. Okay. So let's see. I want to make sure that that eye isn't up too high. That's so why I'm doing it with chalk. There you go. All right. There's her eyes. All right. So now that I've got that, I've just I've sort of outlined that. I'm just going to come back here with some paint. This, this is a good one to do this with. I'm just going to put out some different paints, right? Put out a little magenta. Again, I was painting something else, but I've got paint out, so there's no point in wasting it. You know, just put a little magenta out here. And let's see, I want for sure, I want a bunch of white paint somewhere. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of white paint. Maybe a little ultramarine blue like that, make this sort of off-white color. And, um... Just paint around like this. If I have to come back and re-outline, that's all right. At least I know where everything is. Okay, and I'm going to say this is her white, um, a little bit of a white vest here. And let's see, I think I probably want, let's, you know what we don't have, what we could sure use would be some phthalo blue. I don't have any of that out. We just need a little touch of that, not much. So I want to do white and phthalo blue and a little tiny bit of yellow. Make this sort of pretty blue-green color. If you happen to have it, that's all right. Let me just paint this over like that. Okay, now that, that's the only real blue-green color I have in the whole thing. Everything else is, um, everything else is just, um, other colors. So let's, well, maybe that's not true. Let's take some of these flowers up here. Um, I'm just going to put a few of these blue-green leaves somewhere up here like this. See what, because we're going to glaze over a lot of this. I think I'll put this up here like that. Maybe I'll put something here like that. I don't know. Those probably should do that later. Okay, so um, let's see. A little bit of a white and magenta. All right, that's just sort of a magenta, kind of a deep magenta color. That's nice. Maybe we want some of these um, flowers to be that color. A little more of a magenta color right here. Um, let's just do that. Let's just, just try to humor me here. We're going to say that 
maybe these three are that color. And maybe we're going to take a little bit of blue and white. A little bit more of that blue color. So there's a blue flower right here. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to give this one some blue leaves just, just for the fun of it. Maybe so there's some blue leaves up here like that. Okay. Now, let's take a little bit of white and tiny bit of kind of an off white, teeny bit of purple in it. Like that. Make this sort of kind of gray color. I want to just come around our flowers here like this. Say that this is our Want a little bit of light color here. This is all. This is all just an interesting decoration. Okay. A little bit more white with my uh, have fun just painting this in. I want you to have fun painting this. Don't don't stress over this. Please don't stress over this. We're going to say that these are almost. We're going to say that these are our angel wings. They're kind of coming out like this. And we're going to say she's got some coming up this way. Bring it down a little bit. And again, I put the I went ahead and kind of drew all that in. I was kind of hoping that the pen would show through and that some of these designs would show through, but if it's not, that's all right too. All right, so there's my angel wings. Let's take some white here like this. Make this a little lighter, okay? And uh, This is a very interesting abstract as far as you know angel wings go. And let's just say that there's some sort of little flower up here. It's coming up like this. There's a little stem overhead. It's fun. This something's kind of different. I thought it'd be fun to do something different. You know, sometimes when we're um, when you know, sometimes we I will record some you know lessons that. Um, you know, for YouTube, when we don't, sometimes we don't have internet because of storms and, uh, you know, just, you know, the connection isn't good. We want to put something up or sometimes John and I have business out of town and have to be gone. And um, so this is a fun way to do this. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and add a little flower up here. I'm going to say there's a flower here in the wings. I'm going to say that's my little flower here. Definitely wanted a little light pink flower here that's partially pink. And I'm going to come back with the pen and play with this, all right? This is going to be a little more magenta right here. Okay, so th you can really have fun with this. And we're going to say that there's some purple, light purple, and here's a light flower right here. It's coming up here like that. Put a few little bit of white around it like this. Okay. Again, this is coming here. Okay, maybe just a little of this peach color in here. Okay, ready? Hmm. Now, what about the rest of all this? Let's take a little bit of purple and blue and um, let's get some glazing medium out. Right, I'm going to just I'll just sort of maybe just kind of come over this like this. I'll probably see some of this in here like this, but I can still, yeah, if I use glazing medium like this, you're going to see the, um, you will see the um, paint. Okay, I'm going to say it's much darker blue under here. And uh, how about some more glazing medium and a little bit of purple. If I want to gray it, I'll put a little bit of yellow with it. 
If you need to glaze something, let's just put some more out so I've got that. Yeah, let's just come around here like this. A little bit more blue. You want this translucent, you want to do glazing medium with it. Because that will allow the ink to show through. Okay, now, how about over here? What kind of drippies have we got going over here? Um, I'm going to take a little bit of phthalo blue, a little glazing medium, kind of warm this up a bit. I think I'll put some magenta in it too. There we go. Let's just change all this all up and down. A little bit of magenta, a little bit of kind of this gray color. Now that's dry up here, so that should be okay. No. Okay, and I want some of this color just coming up through here like this. Maybe just kind of breaking this up a little bit. All right, now what we want to do up here is that we're going to say everything's really dark up here. And we're just going to take some glazing medium, purple, and just give everything a coat of paint and just you're going to let that stuff kind of show through. You're not really going to see it. It's just going to kind of peek through because you're using glazing medium. And we're making it real dark. And you don't want any white with this. So let's put some over here. A little bit of purple. I want this all dark up here. And purple's a, dazzling purple is a very translucent color. And it's going to allow some of this to show through. And if it doesn't, we'll put it back. Okay, like that. I'm going to say this is very dark. Maybe a little ultramarine blue with that, another translucent color. Not this very dark up here. Okay. There we go. Now, a little bit of yellow and phthalo blue, so a little bit of a green. I'll go a little green on me now, a little bit of yellow. Okay. Now wipe the brush, because that just pure glazing medium and just kind of new stain is sort of this kind of blue blue color like that. It's just all fun. Alright, it's, it's really dark up here. I can't stress that enough. So I'm going to just tap on some dark areas like that that are opaque, not glazing anymore. Just say up here like this. Very dark, kind of wind it around her head like that. Maybe a little dark blue. Something like that. Okay, so we're saying it's very dark up there. Now what we want here is some um, we're gonna use black because um, we need some black. So I'm gonna get black for her hair. I don't know if we're ready to put it out yet though. I think we need to before we do her hair, we need to do her face. So let's take a little bit of white, purple color. We're going to just start with her face. yellow with that. We're not doing skin tones, we're just doing sort of this sort of off-white color, kind of almost purple. I 
And we'll put some of this back, okay? Move some of this color on here. We want some different colors on this white here. Ooh, here are my thunderstorms. It's exactly why I do videos like that. A little bit of this white and yellow on here. Okay. I think I want to bring this wing down a little bit. Let's come down about this far. A little more white. Okay. I'm just going to say that this is coming down like that. And this is coming this way. All right, so that's, that's kind of cool, right? If I'm saying if that's coming here, then I need to shorten this one here. Okay, let's take a little white here and just start with some grippy things going this way. That's our little cup on this. Okay, just gonna do that like this. So there's a cuff here. Maybe we're doing something like this. Then we're gonna say that right here, which is sort of pink and yellow, say right here is a little hand that's coming around like that. We're not gonna paint it in too much, just say that's there some of this color in here, a little bit more light by her chin. Okay. All right, now, there's white here. I think I need a little bit more white this way. Her collar. Now, Okay, so we've got something like that. All right, now we're going to just stop a minute and dry everything, okay? Because we've got to dry the face to put it back, all right? Okay, so as long as I'm out, I've got a little of this light green paint left. I want to put some of our colors back, a little bit of phthalo. All right, I wanted to put some colors back in here. Something like that. Just say that there's some of these colors. Okay. Not a lot of this, but I wanted to make sure I had it. Let's say a little bit of blue. Just put something through here like that. Okay, now, um, I'm just going to rinse the brush, and I still have paint on it, so when I do this, I'm just going to tint this a little bit, maybe right here and right here, I might tint it a little bit, yeah, just a little water, I'm not glazing anything, just a little water right there, and just sort of tint that, I guess I'll have to go through here and do my eyes again. My nose is going to come down here. So, let's see. I need a tiny little brush. Guess what, you guys? I need a teeny little brush. What do we got? Well, at least, um, yeah, let's start with some white and I'm uh, going to come down here just like this. We don't want to get too crazy. I want it to be lighter on the chin here. A little bit of yellow, put a little bit of orange on her cheeks, so just barely touch it. Just say that there's a little bit of color on her cheeks. And then her hair at the top of her head is kind of blue-green. This is fun. Her eyes, it's all kind of dark around her eyes. And there's a little bit of blue-green shadow under here. Okay, so there you go. So it's just something like that. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe we can do the... Let's 
see how this goes. Just adjust your nose. Just adjust these eyes. Okay, so see, there's the mouth. Okay. Now, here's the trick. Let me say that her... You come in very close to her eye like this and bring her face in like this. And then come up like this. Bring her neck in like this. And then bring this down like that. There you go. So, now that we've decided that's okay, let's dry that. Okay, so now I want a little bit of my glazing medium, which is here, and a little of that green color and glazing medium. I want to come back over her eyes. I want this pretty dark right here, back where her head and her eyes are. Okay, and then maybe a little bit on her chin. Okay, that may still be wet from the... Um, I've got to be careful. Because these Posca pens, um, these Posca pens have to dry. They take about five minutes to dry. And if they're not dry, they don't work. Let me just do this. So we're not doing anything too tricky with this. We're just saying, we're just taking the pen and just drawing a little eye like this. Okay, so we're just saying that that's her eyes. There's her eyebrow. And, uh, there. Okay, that's what we want, you guys. Now, uh, we want to bring her face in even a little closer to there than that, too. His face has to come in like that. There we go. Now, I'm going to take some black, which we put out, and I'm going to do her hair. That. I'm going to come up back up this way. And so these little angle pens are perfect for this because you can get the little tiny brush hairs, okay, like that. All right, so there's her dark hair. Either side of her. And I want to come a little closer. She looks a little bald here. There we go. The same thing here. Let's just bring it a little this closer, okay. Now, now that we've got that going, all right, then there's her hair, I like that, okay, a little bit of black there. Now we're going to finish out the rest of the decorations, which we can pretty much make sure that we're nice and dry. And uh, one thing we want to do is put a little bit of a light blue highlight in her hair, like this. Okay, maybe a little bit of a light blue 
highlight, kind of a phthalo blue highlight right here on this. Okay, and let's see, I want something right here. And then, okay, so where else are we going to put some blue? Here's a little ultramarine blue. Let's just start putting some, a little bit of white. Ooh, way too much paint. You've got to be careful with that. If you want to paint something, you can't get so much paint that it blobs. Let me just say here's some decoration on the wings, like that. You know, what wings? Well, these ones. Let's bring this up higher here. Let's see if this comes up higher like that. Those wings. Okay, so this is a very, I mean, it's a very different kind of picture. I know it's not probably not something that you know you normally see. We even teach to paint, but this comes up because um, here, here's a little light purple. Back up in here, just a little light purple up on top of some of this. That's not too light, but just something. Just indicate some, some sort of flowers. And I want a pretty dark mist. It's almost black up here. It's really dark. And then this nifty flower is sort of, there's a little, there's some magenta flowers in here too. Okay, let's make this a little darker. Okay, how about this one? Now, I need um, some sort of little magenta, kind of alizarin crimson or magenta. Either one would work. Flower right here. It's going to come maybe a little bit of blue with that, a little bit of white. More this color. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Let's try. I'm trying a little bit of um. This and just white. I think we're looking for white here. There we go. A little bit of white. So don't sweat too much about painting in your flowers perfectly or any of that. I don't want you to do that. Just, just, um, I want you to just not even consider it. Just taking a little bit of light color on the brush and just pulling it down next to here. Remember we said this was sort of a straight line down her, her road like this. Okay, and then maybe just off her shoulders here we're just going to pull some color. Um, Need a little light right here next to her face. Okay, there we go. That's good. Now she's got some sort of little, let's just do a thalo blue and white flower up here. Some sort of pretty little thalo blue flower up here like that. And then we're going to take the white and do the stem like this. There you go. There you go. Oops. Too, too wide. How did I get Oh, did you ever happen to you get it too wide? I just want this little tiny stem here. And just push that out of the way and just paint over it. Because I really didn't want it that wide. So we can, we can fix that. I'm going to put a little purple back, and then when this dries, I'll 
take a Posco pen or something and I'll put that white one in there. Need it a little bit light next to her hair though. There we go. Alright, so we've got this. Now, how about any of this? It's in any little flowers here. something a little bit lighter blue right next to here like this just a little bit more purple have fun with this I want you to have fun with this this is a really pretty uh, picture when it's done and it just takes it's a little fiddly but I think it, you know here's a here's some darker blue something you can see maybe there's a darker blue flower here. Or maybe one here. Maybe something up here. Get half of one here. Something here. For sure we want some flowers here. Just um We're just going to play with that now. It's, it's green and white. Make something lighter. A little bit of a light color here. Just something up here that was a little lighter. Yeah, let's just... Okay. So how how detailed we make this is really up to you. You could probably make this a little bit more detailed than than I did it. See? I, mean, I absolutely know you could. But you know, at this point, you know, I wanna um see it want some sort of little light pink something up here like that a little bit of color there a little bit of purple and white here all right now it's, to me this is really I mean, it's so different this is so different it's so fun to do let's see about lightening up something right here next to her hair barely touch the pink Put a dry brush on a little bit of light or something. This is where you put a little paint on the brush, wipe it all off, and then just kind of rub your brush on like chalk. Let's see, where's my mixing light? All out. Here, now I'm going to just take this rag and wipe everything off. Okay. Here's my mixing light. I'm just going to say I want it a little bit lighter right there, and that's an easy way to get it. Okay, come up with some light streaks there. What about over here? Now, at this point, we may have to dry something to get this, um, get this effect, but we're going to, we'll see where we are with this first. Just a little lighter. Oh, I do like this purple right here, so maybe not too much lighter. Okay, and maybe something really light right here with the blue. See, and if you're doing that, I'm going to say that that's light right there, then bring that in. Just sort of make that disappear like this. Okay. Now, let's just stop and dry everything. Before I do that, do I need to do anything else with any of this white? Hmm. I need to put a little white flower in the center of this. Okay, that's good.
Okay, so there we go. Just got got this nice little robe here now. Let's see, I'm still looking for white. Um, titanium white is. Okay, so it's some titanium white. So, want some lighter flowers here like this. Something light kind of down here. Some sort of little fun design. Yeah, and I want this little this hand to look lighter. Okay, there's your hand going around like that. And then let's see what else. Oh yeah, how about we have any little bits of white up here now that we need. Okay, just in a few places now. We're just coming back along here and tapping and just making it a little lighter. Oh, I just so like that. Let's see, I want this is straight down. It's curved this like this. You're going to say this is angel wings. Let's curve them. There we go. And I still think I need to get this one up a little bit higher. There. Okay. Okay, that's uh, that's working. Now, what we've got to do is dry everything. All right, we've dried everything. Now, I'm going to take my Posca pen. And I'm going to start here in the center of her forehead, like this. And I'm going to make a little white strand of pearls. I need them to come back this far. There we go. So that I make sure that they're in a circle. I'm going to come this way. Okay, and then there's another little strand that's going to go right like this. And then we're going to say there's a little light right here by her head. A little bit of white. We're just going to add that, right? Because we can. You know, we can. We can put a little light around her nose like that. A little bit of a light streak in her hair like this. Now, these are the pearls that are going around her head. Um, that's cool, right? Isn't that pretty? I mean, already that looks kind of neat, doesn't it? Now, let's take the black. This is fun. Okay. Now, oh, let's take, um... Oh. I'm going to do a Posca pen. I'm going to do a red one for her lips. So I'm not going to try and do anything that small. There was... There you go. I might take this and just outline these flowers like this. All right, now. All right, so okay, so we're pretty good there, right? Now our black pen is going to come under her chin like this. There we go, that's it. And we're going to say that um, coming back this way. Now we're going to start outlining this little outfit. Now I was kind of hoping that the pen, sometimes a Sharpie will show through. When you do something like this with a Sharpie, the black stays. You can still see it. But I never worry too much about this stuff because, you know, you can always paint over it again as long as it's dry. So we're going to say that there's a flower here like that.
Okay. Start outlining some of these on her robe. The same thing with these over here. You don't have to follow them. You can go outside the lines. I guess that's what I'm going to tell you. So feel free to go outside the lines. And uh, absolutely feel free to do that. And here's her hair coming down like that. The outline of her sleeve like this. And uh, you can add some flowers even if you haven't painted them in. Just put in a few like that. Just go ahead and add some. And this is my favorite part when we start to do these. I'm going to add these. Wow, I can hear my thunder, can't you? Let's see. Let's take these like this. Say we've got a flower here. And just have fun with the the drawing of this. There's just a lot of little fun little designs on here like that. Okay. All these lines are kind of coming down. I'm not sure how this works, but this is where we're doing it. And uh, I want to say that this... It's going to be longer, her hair, like that. And I, I just personally would like to bring it even down even further. Like that. I think that's really cool. And every once in a while, just stop and uh, clean your tip of your pen off, because you've been over this paint and you might be scraping some up. Come on back up here and just add some more stuff up in here if you want. Oh yeah, here. This is what we got to do here. Let's change the pens. Do the white one. So we're saying that um, this was a stem of this. I couldn't really get that with the brush. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else have we got here? Um, oh, well, I guess we could do some sort of little flowers along here with the pen. I'm telling you what, you can have a... You know, you can have a little bit of fun with this. Here's some little white flowers. Maybe you want to put a butterfly. I mean, I think you just really could, um, you know... Use your imagination. Okay. And the same thing up here. We're going to say that this is coming down like that. So that kind of shows. That's nice, right? And uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go back to my brush. Take a little white and phthalo blue. Okay, like that. And I want a little bit of a light blue highlight here. A little bit of light in the air like that, right? But that's sort of cool. I don't want to do this color in here anywhere. This is where you can sort of, this is the fun thing about something like this. If I want to say that this is a little bit darker under this sash right here like that. There, see, just darken that up. 
Uh, make sure this is kind of dark up here too. That's pretty. A little bit of the darker blue up in here. Let's put a little bit, just a little bit more, less white, more blue right there. There, okay, just something like that. So that was just a little bit bright. Just a little black, and we'll just shorten that up here. There, okay. So now, you guys, what we've got, let's see, I want to see if I've got anything else about her hair like this. Okay. I'd say we were in good shape with this. I'm going to want this to look really old, kind of old worldly. So I'm going to dry this. I'm going to show you a trick. We've got to really dry it. All right. Last thing. I'm going to take a clean brush and a little glazing liquid, a little bit of phthalo blue. Okay, and I want to make sure that that white's dryer is going to smear. I'm going to just tap over these pearls. Just a dot of this blue color. Okay, so tap that over. And then I want to take some raw umber. I'm glazing medium. I'll put a new little spot right here for it, right like that, right? I want to make this look kind of old, and I'm going to just take a little raw umber, kind of tone back these wings just right up here, and maybe just a little bit of green with that. I want some color, in other words. A little bit of color right here. There we go. Just a tiny bit of color on that, okay? The same thing here. How are we doing? I think we could do a... Oh, let's look at it from all my colors for a second. I wonder where I lose anything, and if I don't find it, then I know it's probably... Now I have it somewhere. I'm thinking, where do I have it? I don't have it sitting right in front of me. I always wonder what I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to take a little of this magenta color, and you know, it's kind of a natural crimson like that. And I want to do a little pink flower right here, okay? And maybe a little more pink one right here, just a few little dots of color. There we go. I just want to make sure I have enough of these colors going here like that. And uh, maybe a little bit of a light green color here. Just something here. She's holding something. I don't know what she's holding. Okay. You could have her holding anything. I don't know what she's holding for you. It's what she's holding for me. All right, now, here we go. A little bit of purple. Do we have anything left? Uh, not really. So I guess that's a good place to quit. I don't have any purple left. I think I was going to try to glaze over. Um, here's my glazing medium. A little bit of blue then, maybe. Glaze over this, just darken this, just a hair. Boy, I use that a lot, up a lot. Here we go, glazing medium. Just darken that up, just a hair like that. There we go. The same thing here, right over this. That's a little bright for me. Like this, just tone that down. I want it kind of darker in the center anyway. Here we go. All right, so we've got something up there, and, you know, boy, that's still a little bright. 
It's okay. There's a little bit of light here, right there. Okay. All right. There we are. And this is a really interesting painting in that um, let me just tell you a little bit about I want to just tell you a little bit about this picture. Um, this was inspired by um, a Charles Rennie in and it's called In Fairyland, and it was done in 1897, and that was the name of this painting. And um, it was a much longer than this. There was this big, there's a lot more to this canvas that, that I just didn't have a good way to film it. You know, just um, want to just show this to you. Look how much longer this picture is. And we just did a little section of it. We just did the top part. And then if you had a long canvas, you could bring this all the way down, because the part that we drew was right in here, okay? And then everything else came down. Can you see that? So this is um, 1897 called Fairyland. It's uh, kind of out of copy right now, so it was, it was fun for us to paint it. I hope that was a... She really reminds me of an angel, not a fairy. And for me, she's an angel. But then, let's see, we want to just glaze over some of these white bits here so they're not so bright. A little blue now that it's dried. There, see that? And um, he had in the main painting, he had one little bit that was a little bit orange. So I'm going to add that to this flower up here because I'm just brighten this one up right down here like that. On the same thing here, put a little of that brighter cad red medium here. There we go. Just bright, brightened up a couple of those. And I want a little bit more white with that too. I want this to be sort of a combination of light and dark. So I'll just tap that in there. Okay? And then what could you do down here? I, I, I'm I telling you what, when you, if you were to just Google his picture, he just had a blast with this. He had all these kind of weird little colors and stuff and all coming down here, but you need a much longer canvas to do that. And I thought this was just perfect the way it was because it gives us this sort of feeling of our angel which is certainly what this this is to me. Is that and he called it Fairyland. So we're gonna call it Fairyland too, I guess. And um you know people sometimes think that uh, you know everything is you know something like this would be very modern, but this imagine this was done eighteen ninety seven over a hundred years ago. I take my white pen and play with that like that. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, again to say if you want to do this longer you can but i think this is very pretty just like that fairyland please subscribe to our channel you guys if you happen to be on my youtube channel and you're watching this please subscribe thank you